Hi, I'm Donna Drake. I'm the Alpharetta Site Manager, and welcome to our site in Alpharetta, Georgia, here in the United States. This is one of our largest material sites for Science Co. We have both our composite materials and specialty polymers global business units that are located here. So let's take a peek inside our labs and see our teams in action. In our group, we make test specimens for our customers and for our scientists to get the properties that they need to advance a project. These are some of the parts that we have for electrical devices. So this is off of our micro-molding machine, so we make real small parts that go into real small electrical parts. This is one of the new capabilities that we just yeah. added here in the lab, right? We just got the machine about two months ago. So in this lab, we have two different technologies for additive manufacturing. In this room, we have filament-based printing. It's very flexible, as you can see, and it was actually all printed in one piece. In the other room, we actually have our powder-based printer, and that uses a very fine powder and a laser to then print the parts. So we have a very similar part printed with the powder, but it was also printed in one piece. So we can take this directly out of the printer just like this with no assembly afterward. We have an example of a skull here with some cranial implants, some mandibular implants as well, oh. but we're printed with our material printed on our powder-based printing. Essentially what we're doing here is we are bending, breaking, and burning plastic. We actually have temperature chambers all throughout this laboratory. That means we can actually get all the way down to negative 60 C. This is our newest robot. This is an impact automation system. It was installed at the beginning of 2023. You can load it and you can go home, turn off the lights, and it will keep going. And here we are at our application development lab. It's one of our customer innovation centers where we can bring our customers in here for virtual engineering and also prototyping. Can you tell us what you're doing here today? We're really getting to look at optimizing the design to get the best performance out of our materials, but also making sure that it's manufacturable for the customers. It looks like maybe you've done some virtual engineering as well. It allows us to predict the performance and the molding process of our materials in a real part. We can create a 3D model and then we can run simulations substituting in our polymers. We can add design modifications so that you have a metal of the plastic or placement solution that works for the customer. And that's a wrap. It was such a pleasure having you join us to see our Alpharetta site.